Hello again everyone, Scott here. This video is going to cover yet another Cisco Packet Tracer activity. This is activity 4.4.4.2 titled UDP Operation. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to set up our client computer to request data from our server. And so we'll take a look in our simulation panel through our simulation tab. We specifically want to look for UDP events in this packet tracer. So edit your filters to show only UDP events, and we'll, we'll get started at our web browser requesting data from the server. And so we can see that it's creating that initial request for data, saying, hey, I'm going to want data, I need to know where this client is. I don't have an IP address, so I need you to find one for me. You see that DNS is being done through port 53 on the server. And we see the URL name here that our client PC is looking for. So it says, here's the name, I need an IP address so I can communicate with this. And there it gets sent out through the lower layers. And then the server receives it. So we just took a look at this. It's basically this is going to be the same thing that the PC sent. And then our server will respond. Encapsulating it as UDP into a UDP segment. Looks like that is all that we needed to take a look at in this video. I'm just seeing that name and how it gets encapsulated in this DNS encapsulation. And source and destination IP. This is just our client and our server basically in here. In here. Um, our source port was 1025 on the PC. Destination port was 53 showing DNS on our server. And this shows us the same thing. UDP on 53 going back to the computer port 1025. And looks like that's really all we needed to take a look at in this packet tracer activity. So I will see you in my next video.